very long. We are going to go ahead and begin. And uh, let me say this. This is a fun time. I want you to enjoy yourself. Uh, we are live streaming, so don't enjoy yourself too much. Because it is, it is going out there. But uh, for our waitresses uh, this evening, thank y'all so much. Let's give them a hand for delivering our food. I do want to officially say good evening to you. And thank you for being here tonight to pay tribute to these employees and their well-deserved honors. Please continue your meal, and I know we're still serving a few tables, but continue your meal as we begin our program. Well, I know that, that uh, all of you are here, and this is no surprise to you, but we are very proud of our employees and our community. By pulling together for excellence in education, we are building bridges for our students to achieve their best futures. I'm hard-pressed to think of tougher times for educators than these past eight months that we have experienced. The faculty, faculties and staffs in our schools have worked diligently to accommodate this fluid situation to best serve the students and our community. Tonight promises to be an exceptional evening honoring many wonderful achievements of our employees, and even with our mitigation measures that we have put in place for safety, I'm very excited that we can celebrate these honorees together. And right now, I want us to look at our first honorees. And so I'm going away from the script a little bit. I told you, I mean, you know, you know me, I'm not going to follow it directly. So what I would like for you to do, if you're an employee of the Washita Parish School System, and I ask the following questions, and you have done what I'm asking, would you stand? If you have checked someone's temperature this year, please stand. <laughs>
driving and paraprofessional and secretary and bookkeeper, and it goes on and on. And I know that we have asked you to do so much more than we've ever had to ask in the past. And so because of you, it is working in Washington Parish. Because of you, our students and our employees continue to be safe. Thank you for all that you do for our system.
tonight, if, if one of your employees is not here, if you'll just pick up their plaque uh, on the table and take it to them, we would appreciate it. Okay, at this time, if the nominees from the schools beginning with Bowie through George Welch would be, begin lining up to my right, where Mary Beth is standing, uh, she, I know she's coming, and Faith. I know Mary Beth's kind of vertical challenge. Say that. Uh, but if you will start making your way there, this teacher and support worker of the year at Bowley through George Welch, if you'll make your way over here right now. East 
Washita Middle, Teacher of the Year, Allison Darrow. Support worker. 
third year, Donnie Young. Pinecrest School Teacher of the Year, Tanya Bradley.
Starlington Elementary Teacher of the Year, Hannah Dooley.
nine, Teacher of the Year, Jacqueline Bliss. And Support Worker of the Year, Sue Ann Williams.
lives. Outside of the classroom, Kathy enjoys music, poetry, church, water sports, animals, missionary teaching, and being a wife and mom. She and her husband have four children, two biological and two adopted internationally. Kathy has a heart for the children, and her purpose certainly shines through as her mother and a teacher. Congratulations, Kathy.
teaching art at West Ridge Middle School. The gra graduate of University of Louisiana Monroe, she has been in education for 16 years. And Angel believes teaching demands more than just content knowledge and management skills. It demands a servant heart willing to go far above the job description. In her classroom, she strives daily to empower, inspire, encourage, understand, and connect with students. As a role model, Angela tries always to stay positive with her students, even in correction. She wants students to know they are accepted and treasured, even with weaknesses, while always reminding them how to make their faults work for them. Beyond the classroom, Angela enjoys serving in her church, gardening, cooking, creating, and creating anything. She and her husband have four children whose interests and passions are their parents' favorite pursuits to encourage and cheer. Congratulations, Angela. life 
experiences. Students are encouraged to analyze, problem solve, and seek their own answers. Brenda's hobbies include watching meteor showers, tracking the, the space station, following weather patterns, and writing short stories as well as reading novels. Go girl. <laughs> she has visited Mission Control in Houston, Texas, and never tires of seeing spacecraft up close. Brenda has two adult sons and is honored to be recognized as Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Brenda. Jason. 
Vincent Thompson, Starlington High School. Thompson's not able to be with us tonight. I know he's watching from home. But Jason embarked on his education career in 1995, teaching and coaching at Woodlawn Middle. He served as athletic director at Sterlington High School beginning in 2013 and moved to principal in 2018. Jason is described as an admirable leader who motivates his faculty to realize a high level of performance, ensuring student success. He trusts every student can reach their full potential and accepts nothing but the best effort. As a steadfast supporter and recognized leader in his community, Jason has surely earned the title of High School Principal of the Year for Washtenaw Parish. And congratulations to Jason, especially to Washtenaw. Now please welcome Amanda Edge, Chairman of the Board of the West Monroe West Washtenaw Chamber of Commerce for our closing remarks. Washington Chamber of Commerce and the Adopted School Program. Have a wonderful and safe journey.